Clap. Good morning, sunshine. It's not sunny. It's almost a bit frosty outside. Another day for the jacket. Good morning and welcome to today's video. Welcome to the penultimate day of riding across Australia. Today's ride, 170k to Ballarat. I think we're pretty much on one road the whole way. We've had our breakfast of some description. Let's do it, man. Last big day. Snack breakfast. Chewy. Fuel of the day, Sour Patch Kids, not sponsored. Beeping man, gone for the ones that are different flavours today instead of just watermelon. Hmm, definitely looks like Tony. What's that? What's what? That? Uh, a jellyfish, my friend. You know what's great? Uh, Frosties. No flies. And Frosties, because they're great. They've got smaller as we've gone further east. Maybe they're still here, but they're really small. Microscopic. So we've been rolling about 40 k's now. Our uh, our mission of today, enjoy it. Enjoying this trip while it lasts. We've got two days left. Nice steady one today. A few climbs at the end into Ballarat. Luckily we've got a nice warm welcoming when we're staying with Shane later on. All we got to do is cruise and get there. Coming up to lunchtime now, so time for a little stop. I might get some snakes or a vanilla coke. Decent roads today. Not completely quiet like yesterday, but but they're all right. Hey, look, dead kangaroo. Yeah, still in Australia. Why was the air conditioning on so, so strong? In there it's was come Antarctica. Out, come out here to warm up. In there was Antarctica, out here is Australia. Oh. It was a tad chilly. How long eh? have we got to go? 80 something case? No, about 100, mate. 100? Oh. Yeah. I don't know if I can do that. Your turn on the front, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> And he said tomorrow it's pretty much all downhill. I can confirm that. It's true. I've seen the route. Still can't put my fingers straight. I have like nerve damage in my hand from a crash. It just got worse basically. I can't grip with it. It's from a crash like years ago where I'd have, I've had this problem for a long time and I can't, I struggle gripping things anyway. I, it's just got worse from finding lots. It's quite funny because me trying to open things is hilarious isn't it at the moment? It's quite funny. Because I just can't. I'm like, nah. Chris, you still need a Christmas tree. Yeah, nearly Christmas, mate. Last 20k's, only us, Chris. I know, man. It's pretty crazy, isn't it? Just on the last few rollers of the day. Some 41 playing, good times. Can't wait for something that's not pizza. Sun's kind of out. Killer pythons. They're big snakes. Mate, this one piece big. equals one portion. Bring the camera over here and it's in the oven. I've got things warming up. Oh, oh my goodness. god. We have veggie lasagna and we have, they're not quite home cooked because I don't home cook, but somebody at a shop that did kind of home cook, home cooked them. So we've got like about four or five kilos of vegetables and peas and carrots and... The well, best food we've the, eaten the in three had, weeks. Yeah. We haven't had for so many weeks. So I thought, you know, what would I want at the end of a long ride? Typically it's asleep, but yeah. There we go, so you warm me up. We haven't been doing much of that either for the last three weeks. Um, I would recommend trying it. <laughs> this is what the kangaroo has. It looks had, like tar. It is, we, that, that, that fixes tubeless tires. Look at that. Yeah. Nah, it's Marmite. It's Marmite. The tool they've done is change the label. You got that from the kangaroo. It's the same size. It comes <laughs> out of a kangaroo. <laughs> yeah. Just, yeah. There he is. <laughs> He's Mate, done it. I'm the dumbest fuck I know. <laughs> like for someone, for someone who knows quite a bit about cycling, like I left at 11, I was just like, yeah, just packing shit, whatever. I'll get there, no worries. It's all uphill, sweet. Wait, nine hours later. Good to see you, man. <laughs> we were like, he's gonna be a while. I was just like <laughs> hursing myself the whole time. Like it was getting dark and I was like, man, I still got an hour to go. <laughs> You had a tail in the whole time. I was I just like, oh, in the end, I just gave up. I just went and got a hot chips and gravy, and I was just. <laughs> so there's only one way to actually mount this bike, 
It's like the easiest way to mount a bike possible. And boys, you need this for your bikes outside, you ready? You touch it, wait for it. You let the bike do all the work. <laughs> there we go. Have you had a bike fit on this? You're looking pretty slammed, man. You can <laughs> just go down Aero there. slam it, boy. <laughs> this is how I sleep. It's so good. You don't have to have your carbon bike. Like, is it that good? Is it good? I'd ride it. I have ridden it, yeah. I, I haven't missed my other bike being indoors. My other bike doesn't do this, this well. Uh, no chain ring tattoos either. It makes sense, which yeah. is weird, because people are saying, oh yeah, we want to ride. I'm all for about riding our bikes indoors. Mm. And when you think about it, we've adapted our outside bikes to ride indoors, which doesn't make sense. Yeah. And the brakes work. Which is kind of weird. How much are they retailing for? They're three, four, nine, nine US. <sighs> a lot. So that's but a lot, isn't it? What will they get you? Fact. What will they? I know you can't ride it outdoors. What's that? An Ontario level bike? One nine five level bike? It's not. It's not a replacement. Like, look, the, the kick is still there. The yeah. core is still there. Mm. Um, so it's just another choice. It just opens up the market a little bit more. Maybe for maybe not for cy pure cyclists. Maybe for more the recreational. This is this is purely for people with a bit of. It's mm. dually, I reckon. It all, it all is. Well, this it is, is all true. outside is free. Is that's it? the satellite. This is oh, you can put it in if you want, but that's the satellite ride. You should try it. I sell it. I sell it. Oh, it's oh, oh, so good. good. Do you yeah. want me to put the seat down so for you? You're you know the Feel the gear change. It actually pulsates through, so you can actually physically feel the gear changes. Oh, that's weird. Yeah, yeah. But without that, you wouldn't know. It it's too smooth. Go the big ring on the front. Climbing hill, so get out, get out of the saddle and see if it feels. I can't stop in socks or anything. Oh my god! <laughs> is it a twerking llama? Who doesn't have a twerking llama? Do you know this is wrong, mate? So far, yeah, 3,643 kilometers. 19 days. 3,640k. Oh, the ride back to get our flight from Perth is going to be a bitch, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, it's going to take approximately 10 days because of the we'll have a tailwind. <laughs> Are, you <all> right? <laughs> Are you all right? You're eating snakes. I need something. I didn't eat my dinner. I've forgotten how hard this shit is, this cycling shit. You know? You've you done one ride. I know. We uh, were planning on sitting refuel. on your wheel the whole... Trip. But then we realised that I'm a lot taller than you. A lot taller. I thought you were I'll going to carry all of our bike packing luggage as well. Not a chance. You can leave it here with Shane, Ron, and they'll ship it back to you. So I'm just off the bed. Um, penultimate day of the trip. Very excited for tomorrow. The last ride into uh, Melbourne. Been on the foam roller a bit, and I think uh, the legs are going to survive one more day in the saddle. Check out this. Look how many llamas there are in GP Llamas' house. Pull back my bed sheets. It's llama. It's another llama. It's just llamas everywhere. If you don't already subscribe to GP Llama, you should. I'll put both Cyclone Maven and his channel links down below. Description. See you guys tomorrow.